Okay, now that we've got, I've got the fan unit clean, and, oh, the grounding strap came off of it. I think it's more for static than anything, so not, not much I can do about that right now. But I got it clean, I got the fan blades cleaned out, I got the inside of here, I blew it out with my compressor, so it's good and clean. And we've got a plate here that's good and clean. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to apply, we don't need a whole lot in here, because when you tighten it down, it will spread. And if you can see, there's two, two we get the CPU here, and then that's the GU there, I think. And then we'll just put this on here. You don't need a lot, just, like that. It doesn't have to be the expensive thermal paste. It's just as long as you've got any kind of thermal paste, that'll work. And then we're ready to go back in with it. It's really a pretty simple process. You want to set your fan down, get your fan down first where you know it's going to be because you don't want to be moving it around once you get it into place. Push those wires back out of the way there. Now we're good to go. Okay. Let's put the screw in here first. Make sure you get your magnets are really magnetized, your screwdrivers are magnetized. Your little screws are hard to work with in there. Okay. Then we take our four little screws here. But I wouldn't tighten them down all the way at first. I would Tighten them down and stage them a little bit. We're tightening it down. Now we've got them all in there. I'm going to go back. Tighten them down. And a lot of people will forget. If they try, try to do it, they'll forget to hook your fan back up. You need to make sure that your fan, you got your electrical connection back on your fan. And that's about it. We've got a Wi-Fi card in, new thermal paste, cleaned it, blew out the fan, the fan is good and clean. Nice job on that. I'm ready to put it back together. I know you guys don't want to watch um, the process of putting the screws back in, but one of the things I do want to point out is I got this battery here. I'm gonna, in a minute, I will pull apart the other side. The, the C-mouse battery may be underneath the keyboard. I'm afraid it's gonna be this one here. This is a 2.4 uh, battery. Uh, it's, a, it's a Sony battery. And it plugs in right here. So I'm afraid this is going to be a factory item, factory ordered item on this particular model. But for the sake of keeping the video short, this is about all I'm going to show you. If I can get to that other battery on the other side, I will, but um, more than likely this is going to be the, be the problem. Well, that's all there is to it. Put your body back in there. Put, put it back together in here. Uh, get you, all your screws in there. Slide your CD-ROM back into place. Tighten the screws down on it, and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. Okay, guys, what I did do, what I, I did a little research uh, before I was going to put this back together again, and this is going to be your original CMOS battery, or, your, or this battery here. But this one here won't work on this particular laptop because it comes with a factory special factory instead of a little slot where you can pop this in. But what I'm going to do is just order a new one. I'm going to try to find one. I'm going to go ahead and pull this battery out of here and try to find the original one. And it's held on with sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape, so I'm going to clean it off and get me some epoxy. Uh, I don't trust sticky tape. Uh, this is pretty hard on though. This is on that good, so I'll order another one. I'll get the numbers off of it. Order a new one. Put it back on here, and I don't want to take a risk with doing one of these other kind of batteries. So, 
Well, that's where we're at with that. Okay, real quick, just putting it back together. Very simple. A little bit of a snap here. A couple of bits. Not much to it at all. Make sure you're sealed in the back. And the rest. Okay, we've got all the screws in, the cover's back on, the plates are all back on. What we've got to do now is put the hard drive in. I thought I would show you these steps to show you how it's done. Again, you just slide it over, let it drop in, and you bring it in and slide these connections in there. Just like that, real simple. Put in a couple of screws here. Remember that's a new hard drive I put in there. Real simple on your hard drive. Remember that F2 button guys when you're when you boot it up and it says system system not found. Hit your F2 button and before your VIO logo quits going away, just keep tapping on it and get into your ROM BIOS. Then take a look and see if it actually sees a hard drive. If it doesn't see a hard drive, then you know that's the problem. I'm going to turn this around. We're going to reinstall the RAM. Got two RAM chips. These are two megabytes a piece. Let me get this one in here first. Slide it in. Make sure it's in all the way across. Push down. You'll feel it lock. You'll see the locking pins here. I see this one. It's not quite in. So. I will take my flat blade and I will push it a little more and now they're locked in. And we take our other one, just slide it in, bingo. Got a ram back in. Now what I have to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'll go, go in there and try to download a driver for that Wi-Fi card or I will use the system, system tools. Now, the last thing you do is put your battery in. This is the last step. And then you want to lock it. Make sure that's good and locked there so it doesn't accidentally fall out. And after all of that, Boot up. Now on this camera, I just touched it to, um, to zoom in on, focus in on that screen. It's uploading the updates right now. So our computer is up and running. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video on your Sony Vio laptop repair. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad I was able to share this with you. It's been pouring down rain, and I couldn't think of a better thing to do. And there is our screen. Working fine.